Hello, so before we get into this video, I just want to say that I haven't forgotten about the formant. It's just, yeah, uh, basically I'm waiting for another couple of things to turn up to finish off the power supply, the original one that's right here. This is the circuit board that Uvers kindly sent over. Um, first off, just before Christmas, Crimbo and whatever, um, I accidentally forgot to order the regulators. Uh, not the regulators, the rectifiers uh, I thought in the schematic. If you look, you look at the schematic, look at the schematic, uh, the regulate, uh, the rectifiers uh, look like they're four sets of diodes, each of them. Uh, I stupidly took that quite literally and I didn't buy any rectifiers. I started shooting the video and I was like, what? Where do the diodes go? Where do the diodes go? Uh, forgetting that these are the rectifiers, so I ended up getting those. They haven't turned up yet, annoyingly. I think it's just the Christmas rush, so it's been a little bit delayed. Hopefully they'll turn up within the next week and this will be built straight up and we can start carrying on with the formant thing, uh, the, the project and having it ready so it can be displayed and played on in the museum for when it opens again for the second season of Doom. Uh, it's been open, the museum was open for the last couple of days. So today we're going to look at something else that's right in front of us, another finger majiggy that's going to end up going on the wall for another thing to look at at the museum because why not? And it looks like a completely, you know, nondescript clock, right? It does. It doesn't look like anything that special and there's a big old reflection on it. If I, if I was looking at this like a few weeks ago, I'd be like, well, it's a, it's a clock. What, 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 what's good about it? But this is, uh, it's quite interesting actually. So starters this is an xc 407 master clock gen of leicester master clock it's quite a small one and uh, uh much like the other master clock that's uh, going to be syncing up the whole museum and stuff circuit boards are turning up for the uh for the actual controller boxes so it will be syncing up the whole thing um but this one is a little bit more modern to that modern you say um but it's got quite an interesting uh, story this one and this one is probably different to a lot of other ones it's it's pretty strange actually now i'd love to actually find an original one that hasn't been modified but this one oh it's working has been modified we'll have a look at it so the xc407 has a pendulum in it and it rocks uh, every uh, 0.5 seconds so uh, unlike the bigger one which goes uh, one second one second this one's one second, two seconds, three seconds instead of one, two, three. This one's a bit of a quicker one. And the, what caught my eye about this specific one uh, uh, was the fact that, well, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you what, what, what's quite interesting about this. Oh, so we'll pop up the top. You'll notice that there isn't, there isn't actually a pendulum in there. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's mad. Like, so this has obviously been modified at some point in his life and that's what really um, look, I looked at it and I was like, oh yeah, blooming cool. It's uh, sadly, it's, um, uh, it's a bit of a shame that it has been modified because it hasn't got the really, in, if you look at this picture right here, you'll see that there's two electromagnetic coils that would go here that would keep on recharging the pendulum. Different, these two relays right here are original. This whole circuit around here is original. There's a bit of strip board right there that is not original. And there is this piece of strip board right here, which is not original. So obviously uh, it looks like somebody got sick of the pendulum, maybe because of the ticky talking, or maybe because of the, you know, annoyingness of it waving out of time or something like that. And they've decided to replace it with a logic circuit right here. Uh, let's have a little closer look at what they've done. Well, let's look at the whole thing. Oh, oh, uh, we've got the same um, switch. This is a very similar switch to the other one. It's got normal, retard, and advance. Uh, that's the way to kind of get all, change the time of the clocks. If you want to advance it an hour, well, you'd push on the advance, and it does it every two seconds. It forwards it a minute, 
and that will do it to this uh, clock, which is, we'll look at the back of this in a second, and also secondary clocks that are connected to this thing. But this is a secondary clock on the front. Unlike the other master clock that's sitting uh, in the exchange room, this one actually has a built-in secondary clock on the front of it. This uh, clock on the front is not wired into the pendulum. Well, the pendulum isn't there anymore. It's not wired into it. It's actually a completely separate clock. Also, looking on the original one, this right here wasn't there. Uh, this looks like it's a heat sink that's bringing the voltage down to the uh, level for the logic chips. They used to be in, in other ones. There looks like there was uh, big chunky capacitors, but here there's a big heat sink and a power transformer in there. Um, stuff like that to get plenty of oomph over to the circuit that has been put in there. But yeah, it's it's just uh, interesting because yeah, it's been modified and probably modified in the late 70s, early 80s, something like that. Not sure. Uh, maybe somebody could comment their predictions of when this was done. Anyway, let's have a closer look at the strip board uh, that has been put in in place of the pendulum. So I took the strip board back and I had a little look at it to see where the lines were going and it, yeah, yeah, it just, um, I think the next thing I'm going to do is plop this on because it looks cool for the video. So I'll put it on the 4045 first, which is where the crystal goes in. So I've got Painter Man's been painting now, I should have watched them out here. So 2097.152, that gets divided down uh, using this 21-bit asynchronous counter. So the crystal goes in here and then it gets divided down with this 21 bit asynchronous counter. That seems to then jump into this um, 4013, which seems to divide it down by a half. There's this button here that seems to trigger this flip-flop on this side. <laughs> Not sure why, to be perfectly honest with you. And then it seems to go into the 4024 seven stage binary counter. Not sure why, we'll find out in a sec. And that divides it down again. And then that ends up going into this, which is a 4049. I think that's a hex inverter, is it? I can't remember. I remember looking on the... And then this seems to take it down to a whole minute. And then this one, I think, just inverts it. I think that inverts the signal, I think. And then there's this 4047 right here. So 4047 is a multi-vibrator, and I'm not actually completely sure of its function in this circuit. So I've just switched it up to advanced. That means it goes off every two seconds and forwards a whole minute on the clock. I think that the multi-vibrator basically just holds it on for a certain amount of time for the relay, I guess. It's a, it's a pretty involved little circuit. So this is a relatively complicated circuit for something that you'd think would be reasonably easy, but you know, maybe it's just because this was the only crystal that was sitting around, so it was able to also be advanced. And I'm guessing this divides it down by two, if you can see the LED right there. And then this goes down into the uh, 4024 and then into to set the relay length for it to pulse. So what's the plan with this modified master clock? Well, um, I don't know how to display it. Uh, I've been thinking about it a bit. The front, which is just glass at the minute, I'm thinking of actually uh, getting a piece of plastic that's the same size and replacing the glass so it's all see-through and then having it on the wall. It's, uh, I've already There's already a master clock, so doesn't really need to exist. However, I was thinking, do I put some LEDs on, particularly the binary counter, which is the one right here. Uh, and because, you know, it looks quite cool. It's counting along. Maybe I have this permanently on it. Or maybe I break off the wires to an LED board that is down here potentially that just lights up here. But that's another day's worth of work. So I don't know. What do you reckon should be done with this? Because right now it's going to sit up. It's going to be looking nice with a see-through acrylic front. But potentially I'll shove in a bit of a light show as well because it's, uh, it's pretty funky. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. I'm Sam. Have a lovely time.